So I'm now back at my parents' house in Durham, North Carolina. And we got, I got a few packages some companies sent me, so I figured I'd just open them on the camera, make them happy. We got this one, Bertrand. Also, I got this package here. This is gonna be useful, actually. It's a portable power station. My grandmother's house in Fort Myers Beach got hit by a hurricane, and while well, a lot of houses just got blown away or completely gone, hers is still standing, but we're gonna go down there, I think, uh, next week and maybe clean it up a little bit. So I'm sure the power is gonna take a while to get turned back on, so this thing could be pretty useful. Uh, so yeah, thank you, uh, what's that? Aux. And it looks like they also sent us three, I think these are solar panels. Here, look at that. And there's also, I had another uh, power generator down there, power station thing, uh, that it was the, I got last year. So we could, we, we'll probably need a couple, you know? And I've got some more solar panels in my workshop. I'll bring those down there. Yeah, so this is like one of those pulled out solar things. So we got three of these big solar panels and I got some batteries so we can go down there and uh, see what the damage is. So I just uh, stopped by my old workshop, I met up with uh, Bill, the guy that's running it out, and I, I picked up these solar panels. These were on my boat before and we got a, I got a dehumidifier, a bunch of stuff. We're going to head on to Florida now. We're looking at about a 13 hour drive. And I'll see if we can save my Grams's Grams's house. I stayed at this tiny house last night. It's kind of cool. It's got a little kitchen. We are getting close to uh, the island. Destruction is unreal. These buildings are like on their side, some of them. And this is after like a week of cleanup. Holy smokes! The road is just <laughs> used to go there. Here we go. Get through this. Let me Prius. It's a freaking apocalypse out here. So we are at the house. Denny's boat. Like a chair in our boathouse now. So this is a bummer. I guess the side wall in here blew out of the pump room. And that wall too. Oh my. Going through a walk on the boardwalk, our, our floating dock is uh, three, two, two houses down on our neighbor's uh, railing out there. That used to be down at the boathouse. And it looks like we have a car in the canal over here. It's the wire man. At least he's got a life jacket. Let's take a look at the back bay. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Cars and boats out there. I'm gonna set up our solar panels now. 
We'll see if we can get some power so we don't have to run that generator as much. It's so loud. So I just looked it up. These are each 100 watts, and we got four of them. So that's going to make, with the sun we get around here, it's going to make a pretty big difference, I think. And then I also have another 400 watts in the car still. I replaced the solar panels on my boat uh, with rigid ones. I had flexible ones, so I have some leftover ones of those. Let's take off this plastic. So it looks like we just plug all the cables together into the battery. So, plug these in, what happens? Input watts. Zero. 11. Probably got one at 179. Oh yeah. Nice. I got the, I found my kite at the, the neighbor's yard, but the kites, I don't think I'm going to save that, but the, the, I got the lines and the bar off, so that's good. Do a faster here. We're working hard, we got all of this cleaned out. We needed to get the drywall off before the uh, studs get, uh, start to get mold and, and rot. So I'm gonna work on getting the drywall wall off. That'd be fun. You can see the water level went all the way up to the ceiling here, or maybe just an inch below it and even into the garage, which is kind of elevated. That went about halfway up. That's the water line. And I just missed the breaker box. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to cut off part of my mural. So it looks like solar panels in the sand, not a great idea. So I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna shovel this off. Uh, we're actually still getting, still getting impressive power. These are the only ones hooked up so far. I'm gonna add, have these two uh, in a minute and then add two more. I've removed a lot of drywall today. You can see all of the neighbors now. It's all just soaking wet. So this will let it dry out. I'm gonna wait till it cools off before I start wheelbarrowing that out to the shower. Maybe tomorrow morning now, I'll, I'll shovel this all out. Making progress, one step at a time. I think, I think I wanna move maybe to the pool. Uh, I'm told we can't pump this all the way out because the, the water table will crack, will break it. So we can, but we can pump it like halfway. So this pool is cleaned out and filled with fresh water. And it actually a couple of days it only took and it bleached out that, that black stuff on the, the bottom. And I've also got the shallow end pumped out here. Um, but I wanted to clean it all out, but unfortunately there's a slight chance of the, the bottom cracking when you pump them out. And I think it's just safer to have a pool company that has you know insurance do that just because it could cost, you know, thousands of dollars if it happened to, happened to, to break. I was really looking forward to getting that cleaned out, but we'll get it done. And again, and since the part that I did clean out is getting bleached in the sun, that the stains are coming out pretty good. So I've been working real hard for three days straight. I figured I, I haven't even really left the house. Uh, last night I did try to go for a walk and uh, I got picked up by the police. I guess they have a curfew after seven. So I'll do my walk before 7 p.m. now and uh, just kind of take a look at what's going on. This down here is the end of Graham's Canal. <laughs> they, they heard houses over there, but there used to be a row of houses there, pretty cool houses too. Um, and they're just, they're just completely gone. There's just pools of water where they used to be. This is where the road used to be. And then you see there's just a pool over there. Just wild. The eight. 
Woods. This guy was pretty cool. He had a electric foiling thing. That was neat. Oh, look, and there's another car. Jeep or something in the water. Even our tennis court is gone. Let's take a look at the beach. Houses are here. There used to be houses here. Not anymore. There's a whole deck here. Oh, that's the roof of a boat. Hi. Someone set up a little bar here. <laughs> Very nice. So I'm scavenging some good stuff. I found a, a mailbox. We're gonna need a new mailbox for sure. I'm making some avocado toast this morning. Lots of generators running here. I'm on, getting closer to getting the solar system set up because it would be nice to not have to run a generator as much. Now moving on to the garage drywall. I got a better system now. I'm just cutting it out in, in squares. It's a lot easier. Although it's a little bit holding, it's holding together better up here. It was kind of crumbling downstairs. So unfortunately the mural I painted has to come down. Ooh, that's a good one. It's like picking your nose, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So satisfying. Yeah. All but one paddleboard has survived. It's the your car. Well, they stayed tied to the dock, at least. But uh, the dock was probably all the way over there before. The water is getting super nasty. Growing the stuff. Yuck. I don't want to swim in here. Walk right into the mangroves now. Freaking mess in here. So all of this used to be over there. 
see the boats moving over. I've never been able to walk this far in here, but there's so much junk you can just step from like board to board to refrigerator to desk and just kind of work your way through the mangroves. <laughs> Keep that bike stayed upright on the rack. Challenge getting those out. They are deep in there. I don't think I can even get to them. I guess that's how they get the boats out of the mangroves. Large crane. Some new shells. You made those yourself? I did. How's that wood going to fit in there? <laughs> Hopefully, very well, thank you. It doesn't go all the way to the end. Oh, how about if I take one of those extra pieces and I cut it? Oh. Oh. See, these are 10 foot, so I need some two foot pieces of plywood. Looks pretty good. I used the drone to help my neighbor um, inspect a hole in his roof, and then I kind of flew around the neighborhood to check out the rest of the damage from the sky. This is the end where all the houses are missing down there. You can see all the boats way back in the mangroves. Boats and cars and junk. A lot of my stuff has gone too. It went over there, I think. So my wind or my wing foil board survived that I made. Uh, they just had a little hole in it, and I patched that yesterday. It's a nice thing about fiberglass. Super easy to patch, and good as new. Um, but, but I also lost all my windsurfing boards. We got the sale, and I went and picked up a, a replacement boom the other day. But, so I want to use this board to windsurf and to wing, wing foil. I don't think I'm ready to do the windsurfing on a foil yet. So I'm going to make a, a fin for this. I have this plastic fin. It looks like it might yeah, kind of fit in there, but I, I think instead I'm going to make, make a new fin. And I'll just mount it on the same way that the, the foil does with like the four screws so I don't have to pull these out every time I switch between them. And that way I can make it whatever shape I want. So I got this XP uh, S foam. I'm gonna, the only thing is I wanna make it a lot thinner. So I'm using the rasp, we'll make a thin, windsurfing thin, and um, a little base for it. And then I'll put some glass on it and I think it'll be great. It's building this fin using the same techniques that I used to build the surfboard. You can look at that video. The kind of secret sauce is pouring the epoxy edge here kind of gives it like a real finished look and I'm sure it kind of strengthens the edge a bit connecting the two layers of glass on the top and bottom so then I did the same on the the fin and see if it ran out anywhere it needs a little extra maybe up here that looks real nice and then you can another trick I found is instead of using a sandpaper at the beginning start with a sure form rasp and that will take a lot more material off so today i'm taking my wing foil board and I'm, i got this uh, windsurfing track i'm gonna put it in the middle i cut a little slot in there put this in the back and uh i don't think i mixed up enough epoxy there but we can squeeze some more on the sides 
I put some chopped glass in there too. I thought that might kind of help, but maybe not. Yeah, we gotta mix up some epoxy real quick. So here's my mass track glued in. It came out pretty nice, and I put a windsurfing base on there. I, I put some layers of glass on top of there and cut out the, the slot again so I could use it. So that was a success. And I've got the, the normal foil on there now. But I made this thin. It came out pretty nice also. So I'll just use that when I don't want to use the foil. I've been starting to get the hang of this foil, but the waves are just a little too big today. Maybe I'll try again tomorrow. So today I'm going to take off the solar um, heater, pool heater things. They don't look like they'll be too difficult to get off, I guess. So it's been a couple of weeks of work. We're making good progress. Today I'm gonna to take another break and go to the Fort Lauderdale boat show. They got me free tickets and we'll see what kind of boats they got there. Is that Joe's boat, the blue one? England. Okay, so this is the octoboard, the uh -huh. way that it works. Uh, this is your throttle. Whoa. That's like a dolphin. <laughs> exactly. Put this on your feet, you feel like a dolphin. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's clever, an inflatable bimini. Whoa. This is water bicycle. Hello. A little mini house boat, kind of cool. <laughs> so that's like a tender for you. This is a little bit different than the normal. Could probably land one of these in the front of pickled herring and go back and forth there. <laughs> oh, that's for for moving your big boat around. Yesterday, the Army Corps of Engineers came and they tarped our roof for us. That was super nice. Uh, they did the whole job and it's a really, really nice job. Uh, the roof hasn't been leaking inside too much yet, but you looked on top, there's lots of shingles are missing. All the ridge caps are, are gone. So it was just a matter of time. So that's real nice. We got our FEMA, FEMA roof tarp. We got two really heavy packages showed up today also. We've got the, it looks like it's an eco flow. Let's open it up and see what it does. A little bit of shipping damage. Usually these are in two boxes, so it's probably fine. Oh, God. 
So this is another one of those batteries, I believe. I think it was 300 watt hours. So I know these things aren't cheap. So thank you, Eco, Eco Flow. Ooh, it's got a little handle. I think this is the nicest one I've got yet. The wheels and handle are a great idea. I've been moving the other two batteries around. Super cool. Let's see if it's got a charge. Hit the button. It's flashing. 29%. Okay, cool. So we got, got a big plug, got some small plugs, with an inverter, some USB ports. Very nice. There's a touch screen. Uh, oh, it's got, it looks like it's got Bluetooth app. That's cool. And the more on the side, we got 12 volt, you know, plug. I think maybe solar panel inputs and stuff. What's the network cord? Oh man, this looks this looks high tech. And here's another one here. Infinity AC. Don't know what that is, but we got it. And this would be really nice. I I think I'm well, we're using the generator, so this will mean we only have to use the generator half as often. And maybe not at all. These solar panels look pretty big, they sent too. It says four hundred watts. I think it's four panels. Maybe it's one big one. I don't know. Look at that. The solar panels even have like a case that is fancy. I've never seen anything like this. Folding one, maybe. Oh. Oh yeah, there it goes. Okay. So they fold. They unfold into four. Awesome. It's even got a cool like shoulder strap because this thing is pretty heavy. I can carry it around with me. Today I'm going to try out the uh, solar panels. These were the ones that um, EcoFlow sent me. They got 400 watts. On, I'm going to put them on the roof. They came with this nice little bag and it's like this. It's got like a piece of metal in here that kind of keeps you from accidentally bending them when you're transporting them. The solar panels are kind of unwieldy. I'm always worried I'm going to crack one when I'm moving it around to install it. I also picked up an extension cable on Amazon. Hopefully this will be long enough. The roof's a little slippery since we got the tarp on it, but it does have these battens, which I think I can, I can screw into it. So I made some, uh, some metal pieces then, and, uh, I've also got a, a roll of this butyl tape to seal up the holes. So the sun comes up over here. So I think this would be a good spot because we, we might have to get shade from that house in the evening. So right here, I'm thinking it would be good. So the solar panel wires are running down here now. And let's see how fast it can charge with the EcoFlow. Solar input. Got that we're getting watts, 80 watts, 100, 120, so 400 watts of panels gets you about 120 watts and that would take 24 hours I guess to charge oh getting more 200 300 Woo! sun's coming out getting more watts uh, I was able to take out the extension cord so we don't need that but the EcoFlow the solar connectors they use have these little like finger pressers which are so much easier than trying to get your fingernails um, on most of the ones I use so I actually kind of like that solar panels right there. Just needed to tie a few more knots. I'll be good. Found a, a briefcase full of money. If anyone's missing any, let me know. Some more work being done getting the, the rest of the drywall and, the, and we took out the floor out to the other day and pressure washed it. This is coming along. The electrician came and we got our, our power ready to hook back up. And then my mom built these shelves and organized all, all Grams' stuff. I've got my pile of <laughs> windsurfing and sailing stuff over here. And the neighbors were throwing out this ping pong table, which is in pretty good shape. So I snagged that up. Today we are replacing the wall because another hurricane's coming. So the 
law is passed. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we start looking at some sailboats for some upcoming uh, sailing adventures over the winter. I'll see you guys then.